In this video we're going to build up a full adder in NMOS. Now we're going to start off with the half adder. I've got the truth table here for the half adder. If we have two inputs A, A and B then we're going to have the options of 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. So those are our four options for our inputs. Now when we add these two together we're going to have 0 plus 0 is going to give us a 0. 0 plus 1 would give us a 1. 1 plus 0 would give us a value of 1. And our 1 plus 1 is going to give us a value of 0. And we're going to carry 1 over to the next most significant bit. So it means we're going to have two outputs here. We're going to have a sum output and we're going to have a carry output. So this is a sum output here and this is a carry output. So if we were to look at these in terms of our logic gates, the sum here is nothing other than an exclusive or and the carry is nothing other than an AND. So we've got those drawn out here. We've got the exclusive OR here for a SUM, and we've got the AND here for the carry. And if we were to look at these in terms of the logic functions here, we would have the output HIGH here is going to be given by not A, B, OR with A, not B. And I've got that written down here. A not B plus A B not. Now this is our exclusive OR and the AND here, which is the carry, is just going to be given by A dot B. So we want to build this little function up here in NMOS, but we know we don't have direct access to these functions. We only have access not to the uh, the NOR and the, the, the OR, exclusive OR and the AND. We've got access to exclusive NOR and the NAND functions because we're dealing with NMOS, it's pull down logic and it's the zero that we're interested in so we're going to have the negation of these. So if we were to look at the truth table here you'll notice that I've added an extra couple of columns. I've added the, the negation of the sum so this is just the negation of what we have here and this is just the negation of the carry. So in this instance here the negation of the sum here would be given by not A, not B, or with A, B, and we've got that here, not A, not B, or with A, B, and it's the negation of the sum, but I've taken the negation over to this side, so we'll have the full line across the top here. So we know, we know we can generate this type of um, output, and we can do the same for the carry bit, so the carry's an AND, and this is the function here for a NAND. Okay, so we can actually write the NAND in a simpler simpler version of that, but it doesn't matter for now. We'll just leave it as it is there. We know it's going to be a, a NAND gate. So let's go ahead in the next page and we'll see how we're going to implement these functions. So we've got the circuit drawn above here, just as a reminder. We've got our sum and our carry. So what we'll do is we'll implement this logic function here. So we're going to have the A not in series with B and we're going to have both of those in parallel with A in series with B not and that's an exclusive OR. But of course whenever we implement this here we're actually going to get the, the bar of this, that's the bar of the sum, so we're actually going to get, get the exclusive NOR when we implement this function in NMOS. So let's have go and we'll do that now. We're going to have the depletion layer, the depletion uh, transistor here for the load, and we've got our drive transistors here. So these drive transistors are going to be given by A dash and B and A B dash. So that's just exactly what we've got up here and what we've done in the previous videos. Now, if you were to follow this through, you can see that the inputs here are going to be, if you say this is A and B, would be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Now at this point here, I've got the this here, which is the uh, exclusive NOR. And you can see how we generate this exclusive NOR here. And this is the exclusive NOR. If we were to, say for example, have 0 and 0, so we would have 0 here and we'd have 0 here, then we're going to have the complements of these, so it means we're going to have a 1 and a 1. So in this branch here, we're going to have a 1 is going to be on and 1 is going to be off. In this branch here, 
one's going to be on and one is going to be off. So we're not going to have any circuit all the way down through here or all the way down through here. So it means at this point here is going to be pulled high. So when we get 0, 0, we're going to get a 1. Now if we come down to the bottom here and let's say we've got 1, 1. So again, we're going to have a, a 1 here and a 1 here. But that would mean that we're going to have the complement. So we're going to have a 0 here and a 0 here. So again, we don't have a path all the way down because there's only ever one of these transistors on at a time in each of the branches. So that means that we're going to have this point here remaining at high again. So we're going to have a high output. Now if you just pick out one of these, if we have a 0 on say A and a 1 in B. So if we have a 0 on A, that means this is off, but this one's going to be on. In this case here, we're going to have the 0 on the B and we're going to have the, uh, sorry, we're going to have a 1 on the B. So that means that this one here is going to be on and this one's going to be off. So that means that this one's on and this one's on. So it means that we're going to have a path all the way down through here. So this is going to be pulled low. So we're going to get a low output. And you can check for yourself the other one, the 1 and the 0. So we're going to have this exclusive NOR output. So in order to change that to an exclusive OR, we simply put it through another inverter. So we put this through an inverter and we get back to this function here, which is the one we're wanting, which is the A dash B plus AB dash. That's our exclusive OR. And this is our sum. And you can see I've put this down here. So it's just the inversion of this here. Now, again, we can work through the, uh, the to get the AND function. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to generate an AND function. And we've seen this one before. We've generated the, generated the NAND and we can put it through an inverter to get the AND. And you can see we've actually drawn out the uh, truth table for these as well. And you can read through this yourself. So let's count the number of transistors that we need in order to generate the sum, which is an exclusive OR. We're going to have to have access to A dash and B dash. So these are the inverses of the A and B. So we're going to have to have two inverters, although I've not shown them here. So they'll have an inverter to generate the A dash and one for the B dash. So there's going to be two transistors for the A dash and two transistors for B dash. So that's four transistors so far. And then we're going to have to have the rest of the transistors here. So that's going to be five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven transistors to generate our exclusive OR. Now there are smarter ways of generating this exclusive OR. In fact, we could narrow this down to as little as three transistors as opposed to 11. But that, that's out with the scope of this course. And I may get on to that type of design in a later course. So it doesn't really matter for the moment. What matters is that we understand how to generate it using our sums of products or alternatively our product of sums. So let's go ahead now and we'll take this half adder and we'll create a full adder from it. This is the truth table for the full adder. We've got our A input and our B input, but we also have an input called the C in, which is the carry in from a previous circuit. So in effect, that previous circuit will have a carry out and that carry out would then become the carry in for this circuit here. So we've got the options here. We're going to have three inputs. So we're going to have eight different options. So we can see here, we're going to have, this is the sum and this is going to be the carry. And we're in effect just adding the three bits together now. So zero plus zero plus zero gives us zero. Zero and zero and a carry in one will give us the sum of one. Zero plus one and zero will give us a one. Again, in zero carry. And we'll have a one plus one is going to give us the zero with the carry one. And we're going to have one with zero, zero gives a value of one, zero carry. One and one is going to give zero carry one. One and one is going to give us zero carry one. And one, one, one is going to give us a value of one with a carry of one. So this is the truth table that we're interested in creating here. Now, if we were to look at the carry and the sum, and we could just, again, we could pick out the uh, values for the highs to start off with. So we're going to have one, two, three, four for the sum. So that's the four here, one, two, three, four. And we're going to have for the carry, we're going to have four as well. So one, 
two, three, four. So I've created these, say for example, we just pick out uh, the first term here, the carry. So the carry here is going to be generated a high value whenever we've got not A, B, C, and you can see here we've got not A, B, C. And I've worked through the other four, so we add on the next one as well, which is going to be A, not B, C, and you can see we've got A, not B, C. So I've worked through and I've generated these two Boolean functions. So let's go ahead in the next slide and we'll see how we're going to simplify these functions and then use them to generate our NMOS circuit. So I've rewritten the two equations here. We've got the carry and we've got the sum. So that's just a copy of the previous page. Now we're going to simplify these down a little bit. So we can simplify the carry. You can see that we can take out a common factor B and C and B and C. So that's going to leave us with the A dash and the A. So we've got the A plus A dash. Now A plus A dash is just a value of 1. So for example, A is 1, then B is 0. So it's 1 or with uh, 0, which gives us a 1. Or alternatively, if A is 0, A dash will be a 1. 0 or with 1 gives us a 1. So that just leaves us with the BC. And we can do the same thing for the AC and also for the AB. So we're left with just these three here. So this is going to be our carry. Now our sum is implemented as we see here. But remember that the, the, the carry out will be fed back into the carry in. Okay, so in effect this C here is just going to be our carry. So we can write this as A dash B dash and this thing here is just going to be the carry value. So this is the carry here. So we can take this and replace the C here. And we can do the same thing for this one except it becomes the C dash because so it becomes this one but everything becomes dashed. And we can do the same thing for the third one. And in the final one, we'll just leave the A, B, C here. Now, whenever we multiply these things out and apply the Boolean algebra to it, we're just going to be left with the A, B, C, which is A, B, C here. And we're going to be left with the A plus the B plus the C times the inverse of the carry. So that's a, there's a little dash there. You can see so it's the carry dash. So again, I'm not going to multiply these things out. You can multiply these out and you can simplify and check for yourself that you do get this here. So it means that these are the two functions we want to implement and here's how we're going to implement them down here. Now it's relatively straightforward now that we've got them in this form but of course we're not going to end up with the this here. We're going to end up with a complement of this and we're going to end up with the complement of this because we're using the pull down NMOS technology. So we can have our depletion load device here and we can see that we're going to generate these. So these are just going to be the a in series with B, so there's A in series with B, and it's going to be parallel with A in series with C, A in series with C, and it's going to be parallel with B in series with C, that's B in series with C. So that's going to give us our little carry function. So this is the carry line here. Now you can see here as well, we can actually simplify this a little bit because we've got a C here, but we've also got a C here. So we could get rid of this one here, and just put this line directly to there because it's just the same C. So we can come down and along here and that gets rid of one of the transistors. Now this is going to feed into the next block and we can see that the carry here appears over in this one and it's going to be the inverse carry which is ideal because whenever we come through here we're going to get the this carry, inverse carry here, which is going to be in par and in, in, sorry, in series with this ABC. So there's the ABC. So it's in series with these three. Okay, so it's in series with that one, which is in parallel with that one and that one. So we've got our A, B and C. Okay, so this little section here is going to cover this little block here. Now finally, all of this is going to be in C parallel with another group, which is going to be A in series with B in series with C. So there's A 
B and C all in series. So we've managed to implement this using only uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 enhancement uh, NMOS transistors. And of course, we've got our two PMOS, our two uh, uh, depletion NMOS devices here as well. So this has produced our not carry and our not sum. And if we wanted access to the carry sum, we could just put them through a couple of inverters to get access to those at this point here and also at this point here if we want access to them. So this is a neat little uh, design for our, uh, our, our full adder. Now again, there's lots of other different ways of implementing this and using uh, fewer uh, devices than this. This is just one implementation. So that's all there is for this video. We'll move on and we'll look at a few other circuits over the next few videos. So thank you for listening. I'll get you in the next video. Goodbye.